A dietitian has specialised knowledge in natural medicine. Before you can qualify as a dietitian, you must first have a degree or postgraduate diploma in dietetics, have studied biochemistry, medicine and physiology, and of course had a period of working practice. A healthy diet can relieve and prevent many diseases and illnesses, and a dietitian can point out certain areas where your diet is lacking that may be responsible for you feeling unwell. Dietitians can work hand in glove with practitioners to help people with gastro and intestinal disorders. A blood test can determine which vitamins and minerals are lacking, but you do not need an appointment with a practitioner to visit a dietitian. A dietitian is able to recommend what foods for you to eat depending on your blood results. A high calcium diet with plenty of dairy may be required to help with brittle bones, osteoporosis and lack of calcium, or a high fibre diet may be recommended to help with fibromyalgia, IBS and prostate problems. The dietitian may recommend supplements for you to take too in order to give your body a good boost of certain vitamins that may be low or lacking. They will probably ask you to keep a diary of the meals you are eating, including snacks, so they can best advise you what to eliminate and what to introduce to your diet. It's good to be honest with them so they can give you the best advice and treatment that you need. Remember, they've seen and heard everything around food before, so they won't be surprised and they won't be judgmental, even if you do eat six donuts a day and four bags of crisps or potato chips. They're trying to help you and they want the best for you, which is what you want too, or you wouldn't have visited the dietitian in the first place. Many issues around food start in the brain, as some of our heads see food as comfort, and some see it as only necessary and a possible enemy. The dietitian can help with these issues too, and soon you'll see healthy foods as your friend and positive for your body. It's a matter of deprogramming ourselves by thinking differently about what food we put into our body. Your body is your greatest gift, as without it, you wouldn't be physically here. It's a temple, so we better worship our bodies and nourish them in order to keep them healthy.